Okay. Thumbnail. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, I got some new makeup from Sephora. Now this video is not a haul. It is more of a first impressions. I'm going to be using these new products. You can find out what I think about them and I'm going to be um, packaging, unboxing and talking to you a little bit about what I got from this new makeup line and it's now available at Sephora. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, so today's video is going to be about, as you can see this box right here, it's going to be about um, the Makeup by Mario. I, I'll tell you guys what I got. So this is the palette and I just got my nails on, so I'm not trying to mess them up. So I did get the palette. I actually got the, so I got the Master Mattes. So I'm really excited. Some of the colors look very similar. I'm looking at it right on. I haven't swatched them yet. I did watch a Shayla's video where she said that they're not supposed to be as pigmented. That that's how like it was supposed to be or whatever but I'm gonna try them out today and I'm gonna try to use as many shades as I can. Oh yeah, so it's like shaking, there's like nothing. But this is the the Master Matte Liquid Liner and this is supposed to be a matte finish as well. Honestly, I don't know, I've been a little out of control buying all these liquid liners. It's supposed to be a matte finish and it's like a pen and it kind of does remind me of the Patrick Star one because it does have a longer felt tip. So we'll see how this one works out and is pigmented. So he did have an eye prep and I actually didn't get the eye prep because I wasn't sure about it, what it was actually supposed to do. I kind of thought it was a concealer, but then I did see a video on it not being concealer and just being something to prep your eyes. And I just, I just honestly skipped on that. I did see some highlighters that he had and I think they were dry. And then I did get this. So I decided to get this. Um, I was really interested in this and this is the Master Secret Glow Highlighter. And so this is the clear one. And I almost thought the pan was empty when I opened it. That's how clear it was. I'm going to use this one today and we'll see how that one goes. I didn't get the highlighters because I actually wasn't sure which shade I wanted. And the other thing I got was basically all of the brushes. I got brushes EF1, EF2, and EF3, 4, and 5. Okay. EF1, this is, oh, it has stuff written on it. Okay. So it says cosmetic brush. It says, I love using this multi-use dual ended brush to apply, blend, and set targeted areas of the face and eyes. Okay, this is a double-ended one. I wasn't sure if it was a face brush or an eye brush, but this is how it looks. And I definitely wanted to get the brushes. This has a nice big end right here. And I can see you packing on shadow or concealer with this side. And then this side is really fluffy. Well, it's not fluffy, it's soft. You gotta fluff it up. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I always like try to fluff them up because this packaging makes them not as fluffy. Yeah, this one is good. This one looks like it would be good for concealer or highlight. I mean, not concealer, highlight. And this is what it looks like. So this is the end and I fluffed it out a little bit. So I do like that. And then this is the flatter end. All right, and then this is the EF2. This is, this multi-use is perfect for applying shadow to the crease and for blending and softening. I also love it for applying highlights and detail powder on the face. Okay, ooh, this is nice. It looks, it looks like a highlight brush when I look right at it. So I'm gonna show you guys because I'm gonna fluff it out. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just literally pressing it like on my palm and just rubbing it around a little, like I would like with product, just to fluff it out, yes. And it's fluffing out really nicely, which is good. Sometimes some brushes come so stiff that it takes a couple of uses to fluff it out. This is what it looks like fluffed out. And now I have the E3 and this is, this multi-use eye brush is my favorite for a quick sweep of 
all over lid color. I'm telling you guys, I was so excited for the brushes just because like he has such a technique. Sometimes when you like watch makeup artists and see that the brushes that they use, the brushes in the collection, if you've ever watched him do like a tutorial or just apply makeup, brushes look like the stuff that he would be using when he's doing all that stuff. I don't know if that makes sense. This is what the brush looks like. Yeah, like it's definitely a nice brush. Like I could see it being a crease brush to deep in that crease. Or this is supposed to be all over the lid. It's not as flat as a brush I would use for the lid, so. Okay, so the other thing that I got was the E4 brush. And this one says, this is a great, this brush is great to pat and pack eyeshadows onto the lids for intense color and payoff. And it works well with both cream and powder. Ooh, they definitely feel like they're synthetic brushes. This is what this brush looks like. It's definitely a nice shape for packing on and making the color intense. Then this is the E5 and this is my favorite brush for detailed shadow application and also to create the perfect smoky eye. Use it to apply and blend shadows and to smoke out liner along the upper and lower lashes. Okay, so this is a sm much smaller brush and it's kind mm. of flat. Mm. It's kind of flat, but it does have some give to it. It's not like completely packed, so I can see smoking out with this would be really, really, really nice. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm taking that that thing off the mirror i feel so weird always doing taking that off because i don't know i i i'll keep it i'm one of those people that'll keep it on i don't even know which one to start with okay so that they don't have names well they do but it's matte one through 12 so matte one through 12. let me go ahead and start with i'm gonna take matte two because matte one is a little bit too light and i'm gonna go ahead and just Matte, matte two is still light for my crease, but I want to build that color up so this is a good color to go in with. That's one. Now I'm gonna take matte four, and they feel super, 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 super soft. Yeah, matte four. I already put concealer on to carve out my brows, but I didn't use some to, to prime my lid. This brush is definitely big and fluffy. And this is the EF2. And this is just kind of the crease and above. I think I'm going to go in with a different brush now. I'm going to take this brush E3 and I'm going to use that on the crease and just kind of trying to deepen up that crease. And I'm still going in with the matte four color. I'm going to go in with the color directly under it, which is matte five. And I'm going to go to the crease and just blend. Oh my God, I love that. So I'm gonna go here in the front and this is a really nice brush to work with. And I do want it to to come through. I feel like matte is such a, you can, you can create such a look with mattes. Like, there we go. This brush is so easy to work with, literally. The way that it is made, you can literally work with it and it's blending so beautifully. Oh my God. It looks so, 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 so nice. I'm gonna go in with more to deepen it. Yeah, this is a good brush to kind of carve out that crease. And I only applied foundation. I haven't applied concealer because I'm gonna go in with concealer to, to clean everything up. So... I went in with the EF2. I'm gonna deepen kind of like the outer crease here. I feel like I always do my eyes different. Like no matter how even it looks, I struggle to make sure that they look the same. You know, people do that with eyebrows, but I have that issue with my actual shadow, so. Okay, so that's it. It is coming a little bit red. It's definitely a warm tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my lid. And I'm gonna take the color matte three. And I'm actually gonna take some of this uh, Rumor 04. So I'm kind of like not cutting the crease, but cutting the crease. And then now I'm going with the brush E4 and I'm just gonna go ahead and pad that in. And this is supposed to be for the lid color. This is a, like a soft, gl nice soft glam look. I know some people were using like the metals, the metallic colors. I said metals, is it metals, metallic? I purposely didn't get any of the two palettes because I know that the matte would be more of an everyday for me. So I'm gonna leave this. And the way that I did this shadow, I focused it on the outer corner. When I clean it and put the liner, it's gonna have like that lifting effect. So now I'm gonna go in with the liner, the, mas the master mattes. This is the liquid liner and it, it's in the color super black. Oh. 
See, these makeup brands are really healing it with these felt tip liner they're really pigmented okay oh i got some in my eye don't worry guys it, i got some in my eye and it just it disappeared my contacts soak that right up and i've been liking the liner where it's like half your eye it just gives such a nice subtle effect so that's what i'm doing today and with a matte shadow i mean it's it's a look uh the brush is a little stiff, which I actually don't mind. Ooh, I do like the I do like the liner. Okay, so it's definitely has a matte to it. It's not 100% like when you do a liquid liner, like the felt tip ones. I feel like they're never as matte as you expect them to be, but that's okay. Brush is a little bit stiff, which I think it's completely fine. It kind of lets you have a little bit more control, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my wing. Okay, so I just finished almost all of my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and I put my lip on. I'm gonna put a gloss on, but I wanna finish the under eye. And I think I wanna take this color. I don't even know if I'm saying the right colors actually. I'm gonna take this one that I think is the matte. It's five or eight, so I took, <laughs> so, um it's one of those two so i'm going to go ahead and just do my under eye this one's not dark enough so i'm going to go ahead and with the color right next to it oh this is such a beautiful color for smoking out your your waterline and i didn't put some mascara because on the bottom because i knew i wanted to smoke it out so i did everything now i'm going to go in with this master secret glow and I'm a little bit scared because it is kind of like, kind of like a Vaseline texture and I'm wearing a highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right over where the highlight is. I can tell you that it blends well without moving the foundation and the glow that I already have on there. I just want to have a nice glowy so you can see how it's catching it's catching all of the the lighting so I do like how that looks and I feel like that definitely like in person would give it a much more natural look less of the powdery okay all right guys so this is the final look and I love it. I will give you guys my thoughts. I guess this isn't necessarily a review. It's just kind of like first impressions, but I'll give you my thoughts on what I think about the line and the products. I love, 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 love the brushes. I think that they're very well thought out the way that they're structured, the way that the personal touches like on the packaging, what he uses them for but even the way that they're made, like he doesn't have just a crease brush. It's just when you use a brush and you see what it can do, I feel like that is his his like personal touch on it. So he's not just making makeup. The matte palette, I love it. I don't think that I noticed it not being as pigmented. I will say something else, which you guys probably didn't notice and it's not gonna be edited out because you won't see it is that there was no fallout obviously i didn't use dark colors but there was like absolutely no fallout with the finish of these shadows also they were definitely matte but they weren't like powdery like you definitely are getting what you pay for the quality is there with those shadows and the color selection i think is good if you're a makeup artist and i think that if you're using this for your every day the secret the secret glow highlight i don't know how i feel about it just yet i do like the texture and how it blended into my skin I think it would be something that I would have to wear to figure out if that's something that I like because I myself am an oily girl with my skin, but I think that it's something that I'm going to have to try out before I can really say how it, I like it personally. I do like the liner. The liner does have pigment and the liner has a harder tip to like do the wing, which actually I do not mind but it is definitely not as matte. And again, I think that's something that with 
the pen form i feel like that's something to be expected it's not going to be as matte as if it comes in a little jar so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all things beauty i'll catch you guys on my next video